Hey guys, hope you're doing well. Look, a lot of people in the agency world want to know how to get from 0 to 10K. Realistically, you're not going to hit the 10K mark without achieving some smaller goals along the way. Since everybody is so obsessed with hitting the 10K a month goal or the 20, 30, 40 and beyond, I wanted to talk about how you can get from 0 to 3K, a very attainable and achievable number within your agency to just get the ball rolling. Now, chances are this is not the first SMMA video that you're watching, so I bet you've heard of many different outreach methods that you can do. Today, I'm going to be talking about an outreach method that I use a lot and also some different organic ways that you can start getting clients today. I'm not going to waste any more of your time, but before I get started, please hit that subscribe and like button. It helps me continue making these videos and I really enjoy doing so. Now, the first method I'm going to talk about is just one that I'm going to get out of the way because I've talked about it a lot on this channel and it's Upwork. Now, one thing that I have preached a lot on this channel is going to Upwork, finding their website from Upwork, and then emailing them personally from Upwork. One thing that I've started doing that I've started migrating towards is actually applying through the actual platform and getting customers that way, which I know is the traditional method, uh, but it's the one that's worked really well for me recently. Now you do have to be careful with this because you want to create an organic flow of clients to your agency, and I'll talk about those in the background. You don't wanna be a slave to Upwork, to where if you lose all of your clients this month, you'll still count on those organic inbound leads coming in. You don't wanna be a slave to Upwork. You don't want Upwork to be the only source of outreach, but it is definitely a great start to get from zero to 3K. So I've spent pretty much the better part of the last year researching Upwork and applying to thousands of jobs. I've got an outreach template down below that you guys can get and copy and paste the best forms of copy that I've found have worked that are going to work for you too. Basically, all you do is you go into Upwork, you search up your niche that you're interested in, like social media management, email marketing, paid ads, SEO, there's tons of things that a marketing agency can do, and there are going to be thousands of warm leads or companies that are looking for your work as opposed to you know cold email where people aren't necessarily looking for your work, that's why it's called cold rather than warm. On Upwork, all you really need to do is make sure that your account looks professional, have a good picture of yourself, describe your work in about two to three sentences, maybe put your resume on there, some past work that you've done for like a friend's Instagram page or maybe you've grown your own Instagram page or YouTube channel. Uh, just leverage anything that you possibly can, put it in your portfolio and you should be really good to go. I would recommend buying the $22 package of Connects, which is the Upwork currency that you use. So I think it gives you 150 Connects and you're going to be spending roughly anywhere from three to 10 Connects per proposal. So if you buy this once a week and you're running out of Connects every single week and you're making the most out of your money, um, then you're definitely going to see that mark if you use the templates I'm providing down below, as well as your experience. Um, it's pretty much just bound to happen. So that's the most obvious one. The second one I'm going to talk about is social media presence. So as a social media marketing agency, you should probably have a good presence on your social media channels as well. That's Instagram, uh, Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, TikTok, really all the big ones. You want to make sure that you have a good presence on there. And a lot of people are wondering, well, how can you grow organically? On some platforms, it's easier than others. For example, YouTube is pretty much all organic. TikTok is pretty much all organic. Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter, however, are definitely harder to grow organically. And the way that I've known to grow on those platforms is by interaction. I know that sounds weird, interaction, but pretty much all that entails is commenting and liking and following pages that are just like yours um, that get traction to your page. And let me explain. So if I'm a marketing agency, I'm not gonna go and follow other marketing agencies. I'm going to go to e-commerce stores, big stores, maybe it's Nike, maybe it's like a you know cool fitness brand or t-shirt brand or you know streetwear brand, whatever it may be, go to their pages, look at their followers and interact with those followers that like that kind of content. That is going to get you thousands of followers if you do that consistently for even 10 to 15 minutes a day. It's been proven before and I do it for my agency as well, it has worked out tremendously. So you interact with those followers, yes, but you also want to get a hold of the business owners. What's the best platform for that? Well, in my opinion, it's LinkedIn. Obviously, that is the most you know business savvy kind of platform for business uh, type of content, marketing content, sales content. Uh, and if you're having a good content strategy on LinkedIn and you're consistent with it, it's pretty much unstoppable. You're gonna be getting inbound leads before you know it. Now, granted, the content does have to be high quality. You have to make sure that you're actually providing people with the value as opposed to you know just putting some trash out there. You don't wanna just put out a post just to put out a post. Um, you wanna make sure that you're giving these free marketing tips that intrigue people to want to book a call with you and your agency. Look, LinkedIn is a huge platform that I think is only gonna to continue to grow in 2023. It is a little bit different than the other platforms. You're going to need to make a different marketing strategy for that social media channel as opposed 
opposed to you know like the Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, TikTok, all those guys, you're gonna wanna make a different one for LinkedIn because it is a little bit different. But if you're consistent and you're providing people with constant value on that platform, you're gonna be getting inbound leads like crazy. So my advice for growing on social media is focus on three platforms you really wanna nail down first. Maybe that's Instagram, TikTok, and LinkedIn. And on Instagram, interact with pages um, that are similar to yours, interact with e-commerce stores, interact with dis different business owners and their followers as well. Just get a good following and you will start to get those DMs. On TikTok, just provide some value, maybe create some short form content that you can use on uh, YouTube Shorts and Instagram Reels as well. And then on LinkedIn, create a good content strategy for infographics videos do really really well and overall just pretty much create a blog post that people would be interested in um, attaining um, and I've got some good hooks that I'm gonna be putting out there soon not quite in this video but stick around and subscribe for the next one I'm gonna be talking about 75 really really good hooks that you can use for ads and also social media uh, posts as well but once you have a good hook you have good content you have a good infographic and you're doing anywhere from two to three per week on LinkedIn it's gonna be a pretty good uh, pretty good snowball heading into 2023 and and ending 2023. I guarantee you, look, if I guarantee you that if you're consistent across all these platforms for 2023 in January all the way through December, by December, you're going to have a very well established social media presence. I can promise that if you put in the work. The last thing that I'm gonna talk about outside of social media presence that has a little bit to do with that is talking about your niche on social media. So this can be, you know, as a marketing agency, you can talk about your niche as a marketing agency, but I'm more so talking about personal brand stuff, stuff like this pretty much where I'm talking about stuff that I get clients from. So I'll make a video on e-commerce, I'll make a video on social media marketing, and e-commerce brand owners will come across that video and wanna book a call with me because they see videos like this. It's really good to get established in your space. That way you become more credible for those owners as they come across your pages on any social media account. Now this can be a YouTube channel, yes, but it also can be a Twitter page where like I'm talking on Twitter about different marketing tips pretty much every day. Go follow me at Growing Your Biz. No, but for real, you can go on Twitter and not have to show your face and still put out good content and get organic followers that way. I have just found that short form content and long form content like YouTube, YouTube Shorts, TikTok, Instagram Reels have done really, really well this past year. And in my prediction, I think they're gonna do even better in 2023. I think YouTube is starting to monetize YouTube Shorts as well, so that doesn't hurt. But creating a podcast, even once a week, if you have a business partner, like I have a business partner and we're looking to create a marketing tips podcast, let me know if that's something you guys be interested in, but a marketing tips podcast in a digital marketing and e-commerce space that we're gonna start talking pretty much for like 30 minutes to an hour on what's been going on that week, different news in the marketing space, different trends going on, and if you're putting out consistent content even once a week uh, you can cut that hour-long episode into like 10 to 15 clips that you can then schedule and pan out on TikTok and YouTube Shorts and Instagram Reels you can see where I'm going with that but pretty much talking about your niche and establishing yourself in that space is going to help you even further get those inbound clients if you're implementing every single one of these strategies that I'm talking about today, you're gonna to hit a 3K month mark in no time, believe it. If you're starting from $0 and you're applying to jobs on Upwork every single day, you're establishing your social media presence and you're talking about your niche on YouTube and maybe it's a podcast form, then I guarantee you even by mid next year, mid 2023, you'll be at that 3K month mark and most likely beyond that as well. Look, I wanted to put this video out there because I feel like a lot of people see the 10K month mark and think that's a ton of work to do, but 3K is very, very attainable. If you don't think so, so this might not be the best fit for you, but if you wanna learn more about different marketing tips and tricks that I use in my digital marketing agency that have really helped my clients out that you can use for yours as well, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and I'm gonna be way more consistent with these videos, but I really appreciate your time if you did watch this point, um, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.